What's up guys, it is me ICOT and welcome back to another video where I watch a YouTube video and I'm not going to call it a reaction video because a reaction video involves you reacting to a video that you've never ever seen before. I've actually seen in this video like earlier on today or yesterday, I think it was today actually, earlier on today. So I've just seen this video but I what I'm doing is that actually I'm going to be um, showing you this video in this video and since most of these um things that you need to see are going to be all around this video so i don't think i'm able to actually have my uh, face in this uh, in the video whilst watching it so you're not going to be able to see my face you can see my face from time to time but not all the time so in this video i am going to be showing you a video of history of windows windows 1.0 to windows 10 and the video was created by windows expert so you know it's legit i guess i have no clue at all but for, without further ado let's go watch this video and also it's going to be five minutes long but the video itself this video might be longer than that because i'm going to be talking about stuff over the video so let's just go ahead and watch it so, Windows history. And we have the Windows icon. November 20th, 1985. Windows 1.0. And here we have it. And it says here, the computer has 256 kilobytes of memory or greater. And two double-sided disk drives or a hard drive. So, basically, um, back then on that computer, it would only have a little tiny bit amount of memory or hard drive. And, th well, that's kind of understandable because of how old this version of Windows actually is back then. Oh, and I also forgot to say that is the actual, <gasps> that model you see, where it says Microsoft and that blue background there, that's the actual computer that was uh, created uh, back in 1985 for this specific Windows version. December 9th, 1987, Windows 2.0. And it, it's sort of the same as Windows 1.0, just a little tiny bit different, I guess. I mean, it may look different, but for from what I know in computing, it doesn't actually, it, it, there's, um, changing it, but not much change. And I like the music that was actually used in this. And it says here, this was the first Windows version where you can minimize and maximize. And what that means is obviously you can minimize and maximize Windows tabs. So like, um, you see this whole Windows, um, Windows task tab here you see it right here if you click on this thing that's um the minimize yeah minimize as you can see minimize and then if I bring back up or is it this one uh restore down oh yeah and then it says come on maximize so that's the minimize maximize thing and that's literally what it tells you right there and that is also the model as well for the computer that was made in 997 1987 yeah that was the computer made and it looks really really old i don't know it kind of reminds me of a computer that was used in jurassic park yeah kind of weird may 22nd of 1990 Windows 3.0 and as you can see it looks a lot different then as you can see it says reverse a uh, game skill help and that's an uh, that was an actual game that was created back then or no it was created by Windows I think as like a game that you can play on I don't actually know but farm manager program manager even clock yeah this is totally different from the previous versions of Windows. I'm just going to keep the music playing. This was the first version to run Windows programs in protected mode. So, ah, uh, from what I just read there, it means that um, that version of Windows, it allows you to use that, uh, that Windows version um, without getting any threats getting into a computer, infecting it, and destroying it. So, that's why it says protected mode, because it's protecting you from all the threats. 
Obviously, you probably know that, but I'm just making sure that you do, so I can... Yeah. April 6th of 1992, Windows 3.1x. <laughs> and that sound, lol. But, um, that sound, I think... What the hell just happened now? I don't even know. That Windows sound, I think, is the startup sound of uh, Windows 3.1 X, the version of Windows that just popped up. I think that's the sound for it. The startup sound. Because every single Windows version has a startup sound when it starts up. Sorry if I'm explaining things so detailly. Just making sure that you know now. Video for Windows was first introduced in November 1982. 1982. <laughs> 1992 as a reaction to Apple's com uh, Apple Computer's QuickTime technology, which added digital video to Macintosh, and that is another model. That's another computer model that was created back in that time for Windows, and I think this is the actual time when um, Apple's Macs were um, competing against Microsoft Windows to see which operating system is the best. I think the audience prefers Windows to Macs more, from what I've heard around. So yeah. August 24th of 1995 is Windows 95! I'm so sorry that that sound is so beautiful and so cool, I love it. But anyway, this is the first Windows version that you can surf on the internet. Only the plus version though. Basic. I need to stop saying basically. Well, okay. So, in this version of Windows, as uh, if you still don't understand what that means, in this version of Windows, this uh, this version of Windows is the f uh, first one that allows you to access the internet because other versions you're not able to but in this version you're able to actually access the internet through connection to the internet obviously i mean it also says only the plus version so so if you don't have the plus version of windows 95 you're 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 screwed mate july 31st of 1996 is windows nt4 Honestly, that was, I think that was longer, that startup sound, I think it was longer. Um, Windows NT4 is also yet less user-friendly when it comes to maintenance. Okay, you don't really know, uh, you don't really need to know about this one. <laughs> okay, nice one. July? July? I think that's supposed to be July. I don't know though, but let's just carry on. So July 25th of 1998, that is Windows 19. And this is what it looks like. Yes. Another startup sound for Windows. Very, very beautiful as well. I love it so much. Windows 98 also offers themes where you can change the colours and sounds. So, as it says, you can change colours and sounds of the Windows. Yeah, the Windows that we use every day to open up our windows. <laughs> well, what's the next one? Oh yeah, February 17th, 2000 is Windows 2000. The, the big step in Windows history. And of course, support for people with disabilities was improved over Windows NT 4.0 with a number of new assistors. Technologies, and that was the other. That's that's another PC model, of of course. Oh, and it just changed to a laptop model. When Windows nine, um, Windows when Windows two thousand came along, that's the first version of Windows that actually got you uh, got the laptops out into production because that's the first ever laptop model of Windows. So that uh, so Windows so 2000 was the first time the laptops were created. September 14, 2000. I'm guessing that's another NT thing. Oh, Windows Me. Oh yeah, Windows Millennium Edition. That's what Windows Me is. It's not like Me, You, and Agri. 
I don't know why I got angry from, just ignore me. But yeah, Windows Me is Millennium Edition, so... This one... Is, um... Well, a program called On-Screen Keyboard has been added, which makes it possible to input characters using the mouse instead of the keyboard. Yes, that's only for people... That's only for computer users that don't have a keyboard, though. If you have a keyboard, no point in having an on-screen keyboard, right? Another laptop model! That one looks more old and, well... Clean back in the day, but old to us now. It looks really, really old to us, but l it looks fresh back in the day. So that's another laptop model for you all to admire on. October 25th of 2001, and that is Windows. <gasps> Windows XP. Windows XP was one of the. Well, I think back in the day, Windows XP was the most popular Windows operating system to ever be used by anyone around the world. Worldwide. Exactly. Exactly. That sound, you could n As soon as you hear that sound, you're like... Windows XP for the win. Faster startup due to pro improved prefetch functions, log on, log off. Uh, launch sequences, yes, and also that's the improved PC model, and as you can see, the screen is there, the mouse is there, keyboard is there, and also the screen and computer are separate, unlike the other ones where the, well, obviously the computer and the screen are always separate, but the, the monitor would always be on top of the computer, this time, it's like, sort of next to each other, I guess, not underneath each, yeah. And then each other. And again, that's another laptop model. It's getting better each time the laptop model, and so is the computer model as well. January 30th of 2007 is. Ah, yes, Windows Vista, of course. Apparently, Windows Vista is one that was critically reviewed. When I say critically reviewed, I mean like not many people liked it. And not many people used it, they just went back to Windows XP or something like that. Well, I guess we'll learn more or like when this scrolls along. Will it say? Windows Vista also does not include the Windows XP Lunar visual theme or most of the classic color schemes. Okay. Um, that's another PC model. St standard, I guess. Another laptop model. That looks kind of cleaner as well. Another cleaner model of laptops. October 22nd of 2009 is going to be Windows 7. Now, I've got to say this. Windows 7 is possibly the most popular Windows operating system uh, to be used to this date. Everyone is still using Windows 7. Even colleges, universities, and schools are using Windows 7. It's still the most popular Windows operating system um, ever. As soon as it came out, it's just like, heck yeah, this is cool. And that lovely startup sound is just always so fascinating. Among Windows 7's new features are advanced touch and... Okay, we didn't need to know about that, but okay. Well, actually, we kind of do, so because it's the history. And that's another laptop model, if people are interested, as I am as well. October 26th of 2012 is going to be Windows 8. Windows 8, from what I've heard, was not very good. Good or pe or like people hated it. I don't know if people did or not. I'm just um saying on behalf of what people have told me and what I've heard of other people, but I'm not actually sure if people do hate it. But yeah, that's Windows 8, the layout of Windows 8. New security features in Windows 8 include two new authentication methods tailored towards touch screens, pins, and picture passers. Yeah, and I was never a fan of picture passers because I thought it was still too risky to manage and handle. And another polished laptop model. The laptop model is sort of similar to my one, actually. Kind of weird. And October 17th, 2013, is Windows 8.1. Actually, Windows 8.1 is the... Windows operating system that I got with this very laptop itself. When I got this laptop, I actually got Windows 8.1. So, yeah, this is the first time I... Yeah, the, the, this Windows I can actually relate to, lol. But yeah, that was it, back then. The camera can now be accessed from the lock screen and includes a new... Actually, I, 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 I never read this part. WTF. The camera can now be accessed from the lock screen. Lock screen. I don't... I. 
I'm so confused. Yet again, another laptop model for those who are interested in models of electronic devices and stuff. July 25th of 2015 is going to be Windows 10. To date, Windows 10, the current operating system that I am on right now. Here we are, see? Windows 10. The command prompt also includes a major update. It is possible to select text, copy and cut, copy, cut and paste. So what that tells me is that if I open up a command prompt and got like a piece of text from the internet, copied and pasted it, it would actually work into the command prompt. No, I, I bet not. I, I think it's saying it, that it didn't work with previous versions of Windows, that you wouldn't be able to paste it into command prompt, but I guess it works now. For some reason, Windows made it work. I don't know why. But yeah, that's, um, that's it. And let's look at the model. Laptop model is so polished, I love it so much. Sorry. And I think that's the end of the video now, is it? Ah. What will the future bring us? What will it bring us? Because, uh, look, it's going through all the logos. All the logos of Windows. Look at that, mate. That is so cool. Oh my god. To be continued, ladies and gentlemen. To be continued. And if anyone is asking if there's going to be a Windows 11, no. There's going to be no more Windows um, upgradings or Windows operating system new versions ever in the future. Microsoft has actually um, confirmed that Windows 10 is going to be the final build or final operating system version thing that is going to be available. It's going to be their last one that they are going to create because it is the biggest build that they've ever created because it contains a lot of stuff. But yeah, that's going to be here of the video, everyone. As you can see, the end screen annotations. There's the end of this video. The videos I'm watching, not this video yet. But what I'm going to say is, uh, tomorrow for me, but today for you guys, because today is going to be the day where I upload the video, but tomorrow is going to be the day where I upload this video. Kind of confusing, isn't it? Yeah. But I'm, I'm recording this the day before it's uploaded, so... Just just so the confusion stops. But later on today, I'm hopefully going to be live streaming. Yes, hopefully going to be live streaming. Um, me actually um, using these different operating systems. Yes, you heard me correctly. I'm going to actually see if I can stream myself um, using these operating systems. Of course, the, uh, the stream is going to be quite laggy. I expect it to be laggy because, well, the operating systems do require a bit of disk to um, manage and open and stuff. But apart from that, guys, hope you all enjoy it. I, uh, the reason why I made a video about this is because I'm extremely passionate about the change and evolution of... Um, Things that pop and that are popular, like you know, like um, Warner Brothers, their sort of like cinematic intro to uh, films. Yeah, I what I keep I I watch videos about that that intro, that introduction, but the evolution of it because like it changed throughout time. I'm so passionate about the evolution of creations. I'm still passionate about the evolution of this creation of life. I'm still interested on in how things were created. That's why. I watched this video for you guys, and I hope you all enjoyed me talking about this too. I'm not like reacting; I'm uh, sharing my opinions and thoughts on this. But apart from that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like down below to show your support, and subscribe and click the notification bell next to it to get notified of every upload that I do. And I and um, follow me on Twitter at the Real ICLT. And if you haven't got Twitter yet, if you haven't got a Twitter account, please do sign up. It is for free. Everything you do here is for free. Hopefully, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later, everyone. Goodbye.